Today, it's all about summer veggies. We're making four spectacular summer vegetable dishes. When you serve one or all of these to your guests, it'll be the highlight of the summer. The <laughs> highlight <laughs> of the sure. summer. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My veggie loving loon. That's right. Especially these veggies. Oh. These are going to be so great. So sit back, folks, and get ready to get hungry. Because right. we're about to start with recipe number one. Zucchini and yellow squash salad. It all starts with thinly layered strips of fresh zucchini and summer squash. Mm, and then we top it with a deeply flavored cherry tomato relish. Oh, every bite is like summer goodness all over the place. In <laughs> your mouth. Yay! So I love this salad. I do too. It's so simple. It's so vibrant. You're, and it's these are kind of like pasta. So let's yeah. get going. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, so obviously we've got zucchini and we got squash and we're cutting them into these cute, cute, really cute, They're cute. They're little adorable. strips. They're almost like giant pieces of pasta. They are. They're kind of like pasta. I love it. So right. we've got, you've got two zucchinis and two squash yes. and we already took the liberty of slicing yeah. one of them. It, so you're using... I'm going to use the mandolin. The Here mandolin. Take that. Now if you don't have a mandolin, just you, you can do this with just a nice sharp knife and a steady hand, but just be yes. careful. Yes. So I'm going to cut the ends off and I'm going to show you exactly how I like to do this. So while he's doing that, I'm going to go and I've got, I've put these, what we've already cut into a colander and I'm going to liberally sprinkle salt, a kosher salt all over this. Um, don't worry. We're not, it's, we're going to later, we're going to wash the salt off, Yes. But, but that softens it and it makes it almost like soft pasta. And then I'm just going to do these real quick. Oh, let's see there if you I go. Can. Okay. Just Be careful. I got a link to a mandolin in the uh, description if you're interested. But it's it. I've had this since I was a toddler. Two. <laughs> and um, anyway, don't let two-year-olds right. play with it. Let's but, see. But um, anyway, it's, oh I love look it. at that, y'all. That's great. The, the squash is more, it's the seeds are a little more prominent, and so sometimes you may get ones that kind of want to split a little bit. There you go. And if you Look have some those. that just aren't any good, don't, I wouldn't do the end, like the end pieces like this. Oh, sorry. It's a yeah. little too rubbery. You, um, you could, they'll be edible. There, um, but anyway, Yay. so now I've just what I've done. You've got one more squash, I got one more, and it's really zucchini. amazing how this just transforms this into this. Like you can eat it like raw. I mean, it's it's not gonna. It's still gonna be delicious. Um, but softening it like this, it just it's so so good. All right, so hold, hold. I'm almost there. Okay, you're always making me rush. I know. Well, hurry up. We're hungry. <laughs> well, I don't want to cut myself. No, don't so I'm not gonna put on my guard here. That's a good thing. The hat. Oh, oh. see, <laughs> golly, it's okay. Don't rush. You're okay. Good. Yeah, don't make me nervous around this. With a sharp, uh, yeah, a sharp object. blade. I know. <laughs> That's good though. You definitely should use the hat though. I've seen people. I've, I was once with a chef who was so fast, and I swear he was going to cut. Oh, his I knuckles know that off. scares me so know, badly. All it's right, look at all it. those guys. Okay, good. Oh, wonderful. All right, Chris, here. Come okay, on, thank it, you. Take it, take so it, now it. what we're going to do? We just need to give yourself a little time. You you want to give about twenty minutes to let the. What does it do? It softens it. It pulls oh, out the right, right. pulls out the moisture, and it just it really. It, we do this with cabbage too. Whenever we make slaw, um, it it just I love the texture that it does. So and we're save gonna, these for a super salad. That's right. <laughs> um, and then we're just gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. It's gonna pull out a little bit of moisture, and then we're ready to bring it all together. Yay! Okay, so look at this. They they transform into like little they're uh, like little lasagna noodles. They're great, and they get nice and and limp, so you can make little. <laughs> he loves shapes. to make them look really pretty. Yes. So what we do, we let that like we said, we just let them soak for uh, 20 minutes, and then you can let them go even longer. You can do this up to an hour in advance, um, and then you'll see when you if you bring them over to the sink and you lift that colander up, the, it, there was uh, there's moisture, some water, there's some there. water that came yeah. out of it, and that's what makes these things so soft. Uh, you need to get all that salt off there, uh, so. Just just rinse them off in in the uh, sink, and then bring them. Then you want to dry them off. So I just put down a kitchen towel, and then put some uh, paper towels over that, and then just lay them out there, and then put more paper towels on top, and just press them, and, and they're perfect. And, and voila, voila! <laughs> You've got th th these are so good. It's just the wonderful flavors of summer. Yes, and I'm going to start building the base of this salad over here. You see, you can kind of just do kind of fun things like that. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to make them all curly cute, yes, but there, it do. does add to the beauty of it. And everything is so vibrant. So let's make this cherry uh, relish. So I've got, I, we've got a local farmer who has these gorgeous cherry. I didn't grow cherry, cherry 
tomatoes this year. You um, didn't. I can't I believe didn't. you did. I've grown them before and I love them, but they, I mean, they, they are crazy. They, they take over our backyard. So anyway, <laughs> so, but these are, these are nice petite, I think these are actually grape cherries, um, or grape tomatoes. So I don't, that's a really big one. So I'm going to cut these. You want to make them into kind of like nice bite-sized pieces. So I just cut these into thirds. And this right here is going to be about two cups of my uh, cherry petite potato uh, potatoes tomatoes okay <laughs> now we're going to put together this delicious delicious relish that's going to top that incredible zucchini and squash I'm going to put that it's in there so good it's so great it's so great now we got a half a cup of chopped red onion you could do just yellow onion if you prefer or and if you hate onion you can leave it out but it adds a nice flavor uh, this is three cloves of garlic that i finally minced I would definitely recommend finely mincing it because you don't want to get a, this is raw uh, garlic, so you don't want like a big old chunk of garlic in your tooth. No. <laughs> this is from my garden. This is a quarter cup of freshly chopped basil. That's chopped fresh basil. I love it. That is from my garden. I love it so much. Okay, and now we're going to add. This is a tablespoon of balsamic. Now we're really talking about amping up those flavors. We're going to add a nice healthy pinch of salt. I'm going to say that's probably about a quarter cup. Um, you can have a, one, a few grinds of good freshly ground black pepper. And then I've got, uh, what do I have here? I believe that's a tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. And we're just going to mix that together. Is that not vibrant? That is beautiful? so. I know. I just want to eat it. I just it. eat that. I know. This is great on so many things. Um, it really is. You, <laughs> we eat this sort of stuff all summer long. Now you can do four of these salads. We have enough to do four, like yeah, this right. uh, appetizer salads. But then you can add some chicken, yes, and make it like an entree salad. Yeah. It's that good. It's that. It's good. that good. Okay, now all I'm right, move so these out of the way. You, yeah. That is, we'll oh, save those for later. You did a beautiful job, Weston. Yes. So we washed all the. Uh, the we should have gotten most of the salt off. So I'm going to hit it with just a little bit more. You don't need a whole lot. Uh, you want those summertime flavors Yum. to shine through. And then we're going to hit it with just a little bit of pepper. Yeah. And now we're going to top this with just a little Yay. more. This is extra virgin olive oil. Go light. You don't want to overdo it. This little dispenser does a tiny, it's perfect. very steady go. little steam, which is just the perfect. Just enough, to, mm -hmm, just enough to kind of oh, yes. lube it up a little bit. Y'all! Mm. I know. I'm <laughs> salivating. I love it. I okay. Oh, now mm. the good part. Just a good old heap and help in the boat. Isn't that beautiful? I think that is gorgeous. It is just stunning. That is so gorgeous. It is. And like Wesley, oh. Wesley said, this is the perfect start to like a perfect summer dinner. Oh, get some salmon next to this. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh okay, yeah. Now we, Sorry. <laughs> he's getting excited. <laughs> We've got some toasted pine nuts just for a little, little crunch. Little topper twister, yeah. To give a little, you know, these are kind of like the croutons. Um, and then we're doing some shaved Parmesan. You could do grated if you want, but I just love these kind yes, of Yes, that's perfect. Sheets of it. Oh, I love that. And, uh, and it's nice. And I got. I love that. Oh, you're flinging your cheese. I'm flinging Chris. cheese. I'm a cheese flinger. And this is. Oh. That's all there is to it. Look at how gorgeous that is. The relish can be made in advance. Oh, so that is. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm Here just, you can just use it right there. I'm going to use it as a placemat. Isn't that gorgeous? Um. Yeah, that is really gorgeous. All right, I gotta dig in. I gotta get every little last bit of this. And you don't have to tell the kids, but it's also really healthy. It is. <laughs> Or the loon. Yeah. No, I love it. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to get all this goodness get the in flavors, here. All the flavors. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. So much flavor. It is like, bam, bam, bam. My taste buds just went I know. crazy. Oh. You just take what beautiful Mother Nature gives us. And just enhance it a little bit, and wow. you are going to be in heaven. Wow, that is 10,000% Luna approved. Yes. <laughs> Moving on, recipe number two, tzatziki cucumber salad. This salad has layers and layers of yummy Greek deliciousness. Garden fresh, thinly sliced cucumbers topped with homemade tzatziki sauce. Oh, these flavors were born to be together. Talk about serving up summer. <laughs> I tell you. Serving it up. All right, let's do it. So we're making I love homemade it. tzatziki sauce. Couldn't be better. I love it so much. So oh, I God. need to do that for you. I'm going to I'm gonna do some actual cucumber in my tzatziki sauce. Yes. So I need about a half a cucumber. All right. Go ahead and peel it. You peel it. 
and, and then, then seed it. And then get and then, those seeds out of and there. And then grade it. And then grade it. And I'll show everybody my work along the way. Oh, that will be great. <laughs> so he's gonna, you're going to use a box grader to grade that. You can yeah. also use your food processor you want or just a sharp knife. Okay, I've got two cups of whole milk Greek yogurt. we got to go Greek, right? So Go Greek. Go Greek. So to, I, I'm actually, if you look, when you look at this recipe, I have a link to our homemade tzatziki sauce. For this salad, I'm going to double it. So normally I'd be doing half <laughs> of this just to make tzatziki sauce. I love tzatziki I sauce. Do too, I, do. I love them on your chicken gyro. I know, or hero. <laughs> yes. Hero. Two teaspoons of white vinegar. One of my favorite herbs in the world to cook with is uh, fresh dill that I have finely chopped. You could go with dried if you want, but just use half the quantity. But fresh is really good. For this particular sauce, it's really, really good, fresh. Uh, this is four cloves of garlic that I have very finely minced. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Really oh. quick, I'm just gonna show everybody that I'm de-seeding this. All I'm doing is just taking my taking my spoon, spoon. here and getting rid of that. And then I'm gonna go over here, show you this real quick, and just grate it with my box grater. That is fantastic. Yes, so, you just need a half of one of these, yeah? I, um, or do you want the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, just half. I, I, you need, you're gonna need about a half a cup. Um, if you do too much, then it gets it makes the sauce a little grainy. But to that, I added a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. I'm gonna do, uh, I need about two tablespoons of lemon, and these lemons are very juicy. They are, look so, at that, you guys. Yeah. That is perfect, I'm gonna take this. So that's I'm gonna put really, it, Chris is gonna get the, the, sorry. That's okay. Chris is gonna get the um, the juice, uh, or juice, all the excess water off of these. So I'm yeah. gonna put them in some uh, cheesecloth. Thank you for putting You're them in You're welcome. You're welcome. So yeah, you just, it, you don't need a whole <laughs> lot of this, um, but if you, there's a lot of water in I cucumbers. I got more to go. Oh good, that's what, oh, I didn't know. I, thought <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm like, what are you I was like, that's it, that's not a half a cup. <laughs> no, here, give it back to me. I got some more to put in there. That's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here because I'm it. gonna kind of roughly chop it. I don't want it too chunky in my you sauce. got it. Um, you right. doing good? Yeah, I wanna make sure everybody saw what you did. Oh, yeah, I just, I rinsed that out. I'm gonna keep stirring this. This is so easy to prepare and the flavor, so, you know, a lot of times when you've seen a creamy style, cucumber salad. It's everyone's favorite. And my dad makes a great version of it. My mom makes it. And it's so simple. It's just usually sour cream. It's usually got a little sweetness to it with the sugar. Um, and so that's delicious too. But we just thought, let's do something a little different and let's go really Greek. And these flavors, cucumbers are such a great um, ingredient in, in Greek cuisine. So I'm going to go ahead and give these, give this a rough chop. There you go. Here, I'm going to get this. I'm going to take this real quick and get that see all yeah. see all that and if you juice. don't get it all if you don't get it all out no big deal that is some juice that is some juice in the house these are so watery they're well that's i'm Here cucumbers you go. Like, more to chop okay cucumber is like i think like 90 percent water um it's, that's why it's so good when you have cucumber water i love <gasps> I it i do that <laughs> well you know also you know back in the day a little vodka in there oh uh, no, yeah yeah a little <laughs> vodka gimlet okay that's plenty oh good okay so right, and i'm going to now, kind of move all this mess out of the way. So, can you can you see this pretty nicely? Oh yeah, that's everybody beautiful. can see how okay, wonderful good. that. So I that's like, really good isn't looking. Isn't that gorgeous? I know that's good. <laughs> that's really good looking. Boy, that's good looking stuff you got there. Okay, <laughs> I'm moving right along. All right, I'm moving on to cut slicing these um, the cucumbers. cucumbers. I've got a mess here, Chris. Here, help me. Okay. Here, let me get this out of your way. We are a work in progress here, folks. We this are. is something that you, you can you see, you can do it in a flash, um, especially if you have like your, your loon working with you. <laughs> it's great. Exactly. Do I need to peel these? No, I don't no, need to No, we these. like to do the fun little, don't stab me. I know, oh, don't <laughs> worry. Like oh, this. that's right, you're do gonna a do a little that. Uh, be kind of creative. Up, show everybody what you're doing there. Uh oh, there you go. I'm a lefty, so it's a little <laughs> more challenging for me. So like that, I'll do this one for you. Okay. Where did my uh, mandolin go? Oh, I th oh right, right, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having too much fun here. Okay, here we go, and I'm just gonna take this and make Be it. Be careful. I know, I'm doing it, okay. Three. And it's up to you on the thinness of your cucumbers. Some, some folks love to have a cucumber salad where they're just literally, it's like rice paper, they're so thin. And um, wow, I, there's an appeal that. to that, I like that, but we like just a little bit of, a little bit of girth to our cuke. And be careful, <laughs> be careful with the mandolin. I'm being very dangerous right now. 
Yeah, just, but I'm not gonna go any further. You don't have to do all there of it. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna just do a little bit of that, and then do this one. Look at that, y'all, I'm like a speed. Be careful. Speed we don't wanna have an accident here on camera. No, we do awful. <laughs> Is that your last one? Yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to bring this bowl over here, and um, are you okay with that, me bringing this bowl over here? <laughs> yes. Thanks and for I, asking permission. Yeah, I've Hold got on, some. these things out of the way. There I've got go. some, some. Um, this is like a half a red onion. This is up to you. If you, I, the red onion, it will the the sharp flavor of it will definitely mellow as this uh, dressing it sits in the dressing for a while. You could do chopped onion, but there's something about just these thinly sliced onion that are just really, really wonderful. Don't forget, you're gonna put a little salt in there. Yeah, on yeah. Those. We put salt in the tzatziki, but these cucumbers are just begging for a little salt. Have you ever just sat there and ate? You used to always sit. I love it. Wow, you didn't little, hardly do any. All right, well, here, I'll do some more. Yeah, do a little more. <laughs> just be careful. Okay, so now I'm gonna add, say, uh, we're gonna do about another teaspoon of salt. You may do like a half a teaspoon and then uh, check it uh, when you ta taste it again, just to make sure. <laughs> Is that enough? Yes, yeah, so that's good, more. that's good. <laughs> I don't want you to get injured. Yeah, please. I mean, those are kind of gone to waste, but that's okay. Here, no, here we go. I got a little bit. Oh, Be no. careful. No, nope, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, folks. Okay, so now, this is my favorite part. This is going to go in there. And again, if you like yours really creamy, which we don't usually like an overdress salad, but for this one. <gasps> for this, overdress it. I know. <laughs> we do. Put so, everything on in your closet for this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> What? Overdressed salad. Oh, oh, everything on your in your um, closet. Closet, put it in. <laughs> yeah. So and actually, this isn't too overdressed. It's it's good, and uh, you want it nice and creamy. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. Now, do we want to serve this now, or do we want to let it sit? No, I would. I would recommend you could serve it now. It would be delicious, but Yum. I think it's even better if it has a little time to let those flavors meld. So I'm going to put yes. it in the fridge, and I'll clean this up and get ready. You clean to that put mess that up on my plate and figure out what you're going to do with those leftover cucumbers. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to let this chill for. This is what I'm going to do. Okay, we're just going <laughs> to we're going to let these chill for about an hour in the fridge, and then we're going to eat it. Okay, oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so we let it hang out in the fridge for about an hour. Um, you don't want to let this sit too long. I would say a couple hours because those um, cucumbers, you know, like we said, they have a lot of water. They're going to continue to exude uh, liquid and then it gets a little too watery. But the good thing is you can make this tzatziki sauce days in advance. Yay, come on over and, here. Um, okay, I know, I'm talking. So um, <laughs> Days in advance. Days in advance. And then and that makes bringing this together. Do you want, here, let me. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Yum. Again, if you're if you're not if you're not a big fan of onions, you can go lighter on the onions. <laughs> and if you're not a big fan of cucumbers, then try something else. Tell me this. <laughs> then, yeah. Hang Yo, on. Look at that tzatziki. Oh. Yeah, that oh. tzatziki. I I'm dying. I am so excited. I love cucumbers. He's, he, you, yeah, you are crazy for cucumbers. Cucumbers are just my favorite thing. Ever since you were a little kid. All right, here we go. Mmm. Again. All these flavors. Oh. Oh my. That's a that's a record. Oh, we get the balloon dance. Wow. Isn't that dill? I know. It's the real dill, I'll tell you that. It's the real deal. Oh, it's just got this really good, just like uh, just no dill, yeah. Mmm. I mean, like I was saying, there's that, mm. there's the kind of sweet version that's super good. This isn't sweet, but it's so packed mm. with flavor. Throw some lamb on there and it'd be really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is 10,000% lamb approved. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So good. Yeah. Make it, make it, make it. So now on to recipe number three. It's our Asian slaw with peanut sauce. This slaw is as beautiful as it is delicious. Oh, and then that peanut soy ginger dressing brings it all together. Oh, it's so bright and vibrant and super scrumptious. Talk about putting those farm fresh vegetables to good use. That's right, <laughs> Get those, putting those to work. Do it, farm fresh vegetables. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I'm so excited, this is great. So let's make it. the dressing. All right, this dressing, you guys. <gasps> is to die for. It's just peanut butter delicious. It is. All right, so I've got five tablespoons, and we're using our uh, food processor, which makes it even more easy. It does, if you don't have a food processor, you could just do the, you could whisk this, no problem. All right, so I've got. But Wesley some, loves to operate machines. <laughs> 
I do. I've got some creamy peanut butter. That was five. The, I, we recommend creamy, not the crunch. That was five tablespoons. And then I'm going to do three tablespoons of brown sugar. Yum, yum. It's our sweet. favorite, that Asian sweet and savory. Yes, and then the soy sauce. I've got uh, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I love it's, it so the much. The smell is already driving me crazy. Six cloves, or four cloves, right? Four mm -hmm. cloves. Mm -hmm. Four cloves of garlic, minced. Minced garlic. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Some ginger. I and love my favorite. This ginger. Mm. It's this fresh ginger. Oh, wow. Mm, that's, that is uh, two tablespoons of Two tablespoons, of yep, you fresh got it. Ginger. Fresh is definitely the best way to go with this. Then six tablespoons of oil. That's good old olive oil. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's put this all together. Okay, well, here he goes, folks. This is always fun. I didn't even test this yet, so I we'll did. see. Oh, good. <laughs> mm. Oh. I'm telling you, I think you folks, that's it. That's that's all you got. Hold on, do? let me. Do you have that spoon? I want to see. You want to give a little taste uh, test? Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to show everybody real quick. Oh, okay. Well, let me. You've got there peanut butter on it. That's okay. Just real quick. <gasps> Look at that deliciousness, guys. Oh yeah, that's gonna oh you, you that's gonna coat this this uh, slaw. <laughs> I know it's 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 insane. Okay, you know so I'm just gonna do that one more time while you get this all together. Eat it again? No, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a little. Oh, more another little, yeah, 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 that's cool. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the components of this beautiful slaw. One second. It's okay, they can hear me. So right here, I've got the most important component of a slaw, which is cabbage. If you, you can buy pre-packaged, that's no problem. But I'm telling you, if you can get the fresh, get a get a head of cabbage, get a sharp knife, just be careful coring it. Um, it's really, really great when it's fresh. So I got, I've got two cups of red cabbage, and I've got five cups of green cabbage. Now you could, if you like your slaw really, really crisp, which is wonderful, uh, then you could just put it in in this bowl like that. But we like to soften it up just kind of make it a little softer and there's a trick to doing that we've done this we've shown you this on other uh, tips from softening slaw and other ingredients <laughs> is to uh, put it in a colander and then put a healthy substantial amount of, of salt all over it um, and then let it just sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes and it's gonna pull out some of that excess moisture and it just softens it up and then what you need to do is then uh, spray it again with uh, some water in your sink because you, you want to get all that excess salt off of there and then you want to dry it off as best you can and I just spread it out over some paper towels and then uh, just dry it that way. Yeah. Okay and now it's, it's see how it's it's just kind of got a nice it's still crisp but it's not like it's not too crisp. <laughs> right. Okay so now we're gonna this is we just build this beautiful beautiful slaw. This is two large carrots that I julienned. I, I used my mandolin to help me do that. You can buy uh, matchstick to, uh, totally. carrots in the store no problem. I've seen them. I bought them. I, I, I know you have. I have too. <laughs> so that's a red bell pepper that we just cut into like one inch, one and a half inch strips. No problem. This is a yellow pepper. You can use whatever combination of peppers you like, but the color is so beautiful. Now we've got a half a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. That's a real, I know not everybody likes cilantro, but it really works in this slaw. So good. So this good. is eight scallions that I've uh, chopped, that I've roughly chopped. And now I'm going to add, before we add the dressing, I'm just going to brighten this flavor up. I've got six tablespoons of rice vinegar. Yes. What about some salt and pepper? We're going to add that at the last. Oh, okay. And I'm going to go oh, ahead. Oh, wow. When let's, do you want this? Well, let's start adding her in. All right. Wow. This is, you guys. And the, the great thing about this salad, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. There, you, As you can see, there's quite a few components to it. That is gorgeous. Wow. That is just. That is good and thick. Mm -hmm. It is so tasty, you guys. It Hold just, on, I got a whole bunch more It coats these ingredients just wow. so beautifully. Oh. All right, here we go. Okay, there you go, good. So anyway, what I was saying is, it you can see there's a there's a decent amount of uh, components to this slaw, but so much of it can be prepped ahead of time. Um, the dressing can be made way ahead of time. Uh, all Remind of the me. all of the slaw ingredients can be prepped ahead of, time. and then what you then right before you uh, serve it, you just do what I'm doing right here, and uh, just bring it all together. So I'm going to keep doing this <gasps> wow, that, until it's beautifully coated. That looks. Beautiful. Heavenly. I know. I know. It really is as beautiful as it tastes. Oh, it is. Yeah. So, Definitely. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to, it doesn't need a ton more seasoning, more salt, but a little hint, uh, just a little touch is good because oh. um, it's got that soy sauce in there. And um, okay. I mean, I'm telling you, you serve this at a barbecue or any kind of a gathering and oh. people are just going to be 
really happy with you. Uh, I'm going to be really happy here I in know. just a few seconds. And this is amazing, served next to gr uh, like grilled meat. Oh, we some, also, yeah, some uh, uh, ribs. Yes, ribs. Yeah. We have some Asian style slow cooked uh, ribs you guys, th that we serve this with. That look at it that. is to die for. Look, oh yes, those ribs. Oh, I, know. I forgot about those. I know we haven't had them. Oh. Well, I always make this when I make those, and we haven't made those. Uh, Y'all, all right? Are you ready? I'm I am dying. Born this is ready. this slaw is is <laughs> the dressing is amazing. All right, I'm going for it. All right, I'm, I'm, let me grab. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm hmm. It's amazing. Everything. It's so bright. The flavor of that, mm. that dressing, the, the cilantro really works with the, um, the oh, green yeah. onion. Oh, yeah, the soy and the peanut butter. And that ginger. Ah. We've, so this has been on the blog for quite a while, and I can, it's one of, it's been one of our most popular uh, side dishes for, for many mm. years. Mm. And uh, I, we don't revisit it enough. No! Mm. Uh, I just shoved a whole bunch in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I need those those Asian um, ribs. Going yeah, it's right up. Right mm. up. You also mm. need to say something else. Mm. <laughs> Swallow. It's so much. I don't know. It's crunchy. Mm. <laughs> this is ten thousand percent Luna proof. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Wow. Now on to recipe number four. Panzanella. A Tuscan bread and farm fresh vegetable salad like none other. Brought together with this simple yet vibrant vinaigrette. All tossed to absolute Italian salad perfection. Made even better with a little fresh grated Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you want to talk about a summer salad showstopper. That is. This I would be is, like, wait a minute, stop the show. I know. <laughs> the, the, we might as well stop. The, talk about a standing ovation. So I'm so excited. So let's get making let's it. Let's do so, it. These, so I, I gotta make a little bit of a confession. Then don't yell at us, I, you beautiful Tuscan Italian friends of ours. <laughs> we we cheated a little bit when this is traditionally made in Tuscany. Um, the, it's made with very, 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 very stale uh, old like bread. old bread that yeah. almost are like croutons. And and um, I've done it that way, and it's good, uh, but the bread gets so soggy. And well, I mean, it's I don't know. It's just we, something about a crouton, or not even just that. Yeah, they're kind of they're, they're crouton. It, it just it works, and I. I know a lot of other people do this way. I know a lot of people in the States do it this way. So forgive us for not being an absolute purist, but I think when, when you try this, you're gonna forgive us. I, I know I you I think are. you will, but we'll let that, let that bread soak up some goodness. We will, we <laughs> definitely will. Um, so let me tell you about these beautiful, these are like croutons. I love making croutons. So I just got a loaf of, I got a French bread. You can get Italian, of course, would be appropriate, and just cut it into like half, or inch slices, and then cube that. You may want to cut away some of the the crust a little bit if you want, but the crust adds texture. And then you put that into a bowl, and you're going to want about five cups of that. And then to that, you're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of melted butter, and then we're going to add two cloves of garlic that have been minced, and then a healthy pinch of salt and and a nice pinch of black pepper. And you're gonna to toss all of that up and then you're gonna put it onto a baking sheet. And I've had my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna put that in there and let it go for just 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, uh, get a couple of wooden spatulas or whatever you got and kind of stir them around so they get browned on all over. And after about literally another five, maybe 10 minutes, they're gonna be good. Oh, gonna, perfect. The, the, the biggest problem here is getting this one to not <laughs> eat them all because they're so good. Okay. It's exactly right. All right, so let's make this Simple yet vibrant yes. vinaigrette. I love a simple but vibrant. <laughs> I've got three or a, a third of a cup of EVOO extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Gonna pour it right into my glass here, um, my jar, and mm -hmm. then I've got the same amount, which is a third of a cup of red wine vinegar. Just I've done this before with balsamic vinegar. That's delicious too. Red wine, I think, is more traditional, but it's, yes. um, it adds a brightness, like it Wesley said. It's so good, you guys. And then we're going to do the juice of a whole lemon. Just squeeze, we'll it, squeeze on it on in there. Now, we find that doing this in a jar with a lid, what, you're, what we're going to be doing is emulsifying that oil with the juice from the vinegar and the yes. essence. And um, 
oatmeal shake really, really helps. It's so, this lemon juice makes it so bright. I know. And, and uh, delicious. But if you don't have a jar with a lid, which you probably do, but if you don't, you can go ahead. What's that? And then I got three quarters, a teaspoon of salt. You could, go. you could just whisk it. Whisk it vigorously and you'll be and good. And then I have a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. And then I'm going to put my shake lid on Shake the troubles it, away. And I'm going to shake it. Shake, shake, I want to make sure it's untight. Yeah, that would, then you'll be shaking it off. Look at that, y'all. Oh, beautiful, lovely. <laughs> and you Look can at do that. that in advance. You'll just need to give it another good shake in before you apply it to the salad. Okay, let's start building the salad. This, Build it. This and right, I will be there. I know you will. I will too. <laughs> this is my, I, so if you can make this during the summertime when P, uh, uh, tomatoes are at their peak. You will be so happy. Yes, the flavor is, This is my heirloom tomato. It's one of the last. I ones. know that I picked from <laughs> from my garden. I had a great. I had a great crop this year. Yeah. I was nervous because if you've been following along our videos, we had a cold spring and then we had a ridiculously uh, hot June. That started continues. in June and never ended. Yeah, yeah. So we're, I'm doing a variety of colors. I've got my purple Cherokee and I've so got yellow. Gorgeous. These are all heirlooms. Whatever you've got that's fresh. This is one um, cucumber that has been uh, peeled, seeded, and cubed. I hope this bowl is big enough, Wesley. <laughs> it is. I've got one. Um, I got a half a cup of an onion that's been chopped. These, again, to your taste, you don't have to use these, but these are briny, delicious capers. That's a quarter cup. I've got, we're going to go, why not throw in some black olives? That's about a half a cup. Now we need to do some herbs. I've got, again, from my garden, this is a quarter cup of chopped fresh basil. And then we're going to do the same amount of chopped fresh <laughs> parsley, which is a quarter cup. And now I have to somehow or another try and Oh, it's good. It's together. good. You're going to do it. If it makes a little bit of a mess, that's okay. Wow. Um, Look the, at those colors. The, the colors. I mean, that's the thing is this salad is just... We've been doing some really, I don't know, there's some, the summertime, the, everything is so bright and colorful, so that's what I love about it so much. So, all right, I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, I'm, while I'm you, doing a little more emulsification. Emulsification. <laughs> Isn't that a school rock? Is that rock? the right word? Yes. School rock. Yes. <laughs> emulsification. <laughs> okay. Now that, I'm just a bill. <laughs> that bread is going to start soaking this up. Okay. So that's the best part about this. I know. So I'm just gonna do some drizzle as we go. How much should I do? All, All of it. it. Heck yeah. All right. Just toss and turn. Yeah. And you may think, okay, that bread is gonna get really, really soggy, and um, yes. it does get a little. It absorbs the moisture, but it doesn't. It. it I mean. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. I mean, this we, is the best. I made this for. We've been tweaking this recipe for for a long time, and I, I think we have finally gotten it, it to where so where he just does the the loon dance. Yeah, it is amazing. It, it's. I'm salivating. Okay, so, so now we're gonna let. Like we said, we just want this to to get those juices to absorb a little bit. So let it sit for anywhere from five to ten minutes. We made it before and come back to eat it three hours later and it was still incredibly yeah. delicious. It's but better I, even, it's just the longer it sits, the better it gets. I, I do think though, if you're gonna be serving it, go ahead and serve it fresh because you know, yeah. people will be same coming back. Day. Same day. Well, definitely same day, probably <laughs> within 15 minutes. But you can prep everything in advance, you can make those croutons days in advance and then, uh, all right, well, we've talked enough, it's almost ready. <laughs> We're gonna let it go just a few more minutes. Okay, now you see how that's oh. it's absorbing that liquid. There's still some liquid in the bottom, which is good. I'm gonna get it with just, Another pinch oh, of salt okay. and another little pinch of black pepper. Uh, doesn't need much because there's salt in that dressing, but just for the veggies. Okay, we are good. Yes. Now, um, I guess, and like the, those croutons are still nice and crunchy, which I love. Come on, bring that over. I'm bringing it to you. Give me some loveliness. Let me get some of that. Here you go. There you go. Move your fork. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Oh, give me some of those croutons. I mean, this. Bread. I keep saying croutons. Uh, this is great as a side salad. It's also, I mean, a wonderful first, first, uh, you know, appetizer salad for a for a wonderful dish that you're serving. Um, it's it's so versatile, and it's like I said, I mean, it's great any time of the year. But man, Yum. in summertime when those vegetables oh, are Oh, Chris. Okay, now this really adds. Hold on, I wanted a couple. You more. want to add a little more? I love these. Oh, I here, love the bread. Give you a little more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I mean, that's a that's a heap and helping a panzanella. That's great. Panzanella. Okay, now this is now really the top of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get yourself some little block of uh, Yay. Parmesan and grate it right on top. And uh, 
Yeah. I mean, this is the real deal. You guys. You're gonna feel, I swear you're gonna feel like you're in Tuscany. This is, ah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I haven't even taken a bite yet. And All I'm, right, I've got a whole bunch on here. You gotta get, make sure you get some of my tomatoes in there. I got it. <laughs> this is my favorite. Mm. That really, I think, is one of my favorite salads mm. of all time. Oh, those crunchy, cr and the, mm. you know, the flavoring those croutons too, with the garlic and the butter. Wow. That is so fresh and amazing. Yeah. And 100,000% Lunar Pro. <laughs> waiting for it. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so good, you guys. It's summertime. It's time to make those awesome summer yeah, vegetables. Yeah, use That's those what... vegetables. Use them, use them. <laughs> God gave them to us to eat. Yeah, so, eat all right. them. Everybody, we love you so much. Hope you're having a great summer, and we'll see you again soon. Mm, make some pans on Yeah.